Hello and welcome. Now I'm sure that every Marvel fan remembers their first viewing of Avengers Endgame, the combination of 11 years of Marvel's Infinity Saga. The movie is filled from end to end with jaw-dropping moments from the epic time heist to Cap lifting Thor's hammer. Away from the action-packed sequences, however, there was one moment that shocked many of us. The reveal that after five years of regret, the usually godly toned Thor had let himself go a little bit. It was an interesting twist that nobody saw coming really, it uh, not only told a serious tale about depression and the impact that Thanos had on the Asgardian, but it also added to the more light-hearted moments in the movie as we were reintroduced to not only Thor, but his Ragnarok pals Meek and Korg. Now, since 2019, LEGO has launched multiple waves of Avengers branded LEGO sets tied to Endgame. There were two waves of direct movie tie-ins as well as the first wave of the Infinity Saga sub-theme. And yet Bro4, the topless overweight god of thunder, Korg and Meek were nowhere to be seen. A travesty given just how great that part of the movie is. That is, until now. As part of a second wave of the Infinity Saga sets, though released simultaneously in the US, everyone's favourite Asgardian, and I'm not counting Loki here because he's a frost giant, has returned in his post-blip form for a new set, Bro Thor's New Asgard, a wonderfully detailed LEGO rendition of Thor's Endgame Norwegian Hangout. I have been eagerly awaiting this. Um, I've got very, very high expectations, so let's see if it lives up to the hype. Now, if we start with the minifigures, the set includes two exclusive minifigures, that's Bro Thor and Korg. And while the God of Thunder has had plenty of bricked up outings over the years in a number of forms, this is the Cronin's first minifigure. In addition to the two minifigures, a meek character is also included. Beginning with Korg, this is probably my biggest disappointment with this set in all honesty. Given the character's size and stature in the cinematic universe, a big fig would have made much more sense than a minifigure that we get here. It's not to say I don't like the minifigure, but it doesn't represent the movie version of the character very well at all. And I don't think that many people would be able to guess exactly who this minifigure is supposed to be if it was part of a different set. Thanks to Marvel fans' need for Bro 4, however, this Korg variant is better received. Aside from that gripe, the printing on the figure's torso is relatively movie accurate, featuring a colour accurate Hawaiian shirt with a similar pattern to what we see the character wearing in Endgame. Again, I'm a little bit disappointed here, however, as the shirt detail is rudimentary and seems a little shoddy. When you compare the smudgy design on Korg's shirt to, say, a recent variant of Harry Potter's Dumbledore, the eloquent design in the printing there, this print just seems a little bit lazy, if I'm honest. As a figure in its own right, however, the shirt printing works well. The design runs from front to back, with the open shirt showing the character's blue rocky chest. The two-toned arms on the figure complete the short sleeve shirt look. Further disappointment, sadly, as we move on to the legs piece. It's a single beige coloured piece with no printing at all. Despite the fact that the movie version of the character is sporting shorts in the scene, this figure doesn't. It's very, very simple. Now, when there are plenty of examples out there of dual moulded legs with other minifigures across multiple themes, this is, again, just lazy. Moving up to the head, and the figure does come with a great neck headphone piece. It's similar to some that you might have seen on other minifigures, but I've never seen it in this light brown dark beige colour. It's a shame that the character didn't come with an over the head headphone piece, but given the large rocky quote unquote hair piece, which we'll get onto shortly, it's understandable. The head matches the, the printing on the chest and the lower arms in terms of colour, it's the blue-grey colouring, and it comes with dual faces surrounded by a semi-symmetrical pattern of jagged lines to emphasise the rock characteristics of the figure's face. The final piece that makes up this minifigure is a large rocky hat stroke uh, hair piece, I suppose. It's a unique mould of uneven three-dimensional geometric shapes to look like rocks, which make up the character's forehead. It definitely adds value to the minifigure's overall look, but as movie accuracy goes, this minifigure will definitely leave most Marvel fans wanting more. Usually, we can put some of the deviations from the minifigure's design down to the fact that the designers have to work off concept art ahead of a movie's release. Given this set is coming out two years after the movie, however, there really isn't a good excuse. 
Despite all this, however, take away the source material for comparison, and this minifigure is wonderfully unique in its design. And if I'm being honest, despite what I've said, I still love it. Now onto the star of the show, however, it's Bro 4, the topless, casual, pants-wearing, overweight, alcoholic god of thunder we meet in the latter half of Avengers Endgame. I honestly believe I could hand this minifigure to anyone who has seen Endgame without any context whatsoever, and they'll know exactly who this figure is. It's perfect. Well, almost. The ragged hairpiece and the thick bearded jewel face head are the same as what we've seen in the other Thor variant from the Infinity Saga sets, with the one smiley face and the one lightning eyes battle face. Much like the other variant, I believe that an addition of a beard piece um, that would go around the neck would have added significant value to the minifigure, given how hairy the Asgardian's chin truly is in the movie. Not to take anything away from the Bro Thor variant here, but having seen some of the custom minifigure designs out there, that addition can only improve the overall look. Moving on to the torso, and let's begin with the hands. Now, if you haven't seen Endgame for a while, then you might not remember that Bro Thor is actually wearing fingerless gloves in the hangout when Rocket and Hulk turn up. Now, this is represented really well with great hand pieces. It's subtle, but it shows some dedication to the source material. The shirtless torso definitely does a great job of portraying this less than battle-hardened version of Thor, with simple outlines showing off his chest and portly belly. Sadly, the printing which continues the bottom of the stomach onto the legs piece isn't the same colour, and that definitely lets the minifigure down somewhat. That being said, the legs printing is superbly source material accurate with the checkered bottoms printing and waistband. Painfully, however, the design doesn't go all the way down, it only goes down as far as the shin. It abruptly ends for absolutely no reason. I can completely understand that if this was a dual moulded printing and they were actually going to have a different colour for the shoes, but no! The printing just stops two thirds of the way down for absolutely no reason. Overall, however, the Bro 4 is definitely the one to own in this set, and it is the better of the two figures. As I mentioned before, there is a Meek character in here. He's a member of the Ragnarok crew and does make an appearance in the movie in that specific scene. Technically not a minifigure, but the bug-like creature does have a minifigure style head, so close enough. Made up of a head and two colour matching purple flower pieces, Meek is by far the not the most complex Lego character you're ever going to feast your eyes on. But the headpiece is beautifully detailed. The printing features all six of Meek's eyes, as well as printing for the two large horizontal mouth flaps. Now, I'm not too sure what the technical term is for them, but you know what I mean. It's a stunningly unique piece, so collectors will be thrilled to add Meek to their Lego Marvel collection. Moving on to the new Asgard sign, and it's not the most exciting LEGO marble build you're ever likely to see, but the relevance to this set and to the Infinity Saga sub theme cannot be understated. The new Asgard sign is a simple yet effective recreation of the road sign that Hulk and Rocket pass on their way up to meet Thor. It's part of MCU canon, and given what a big part new Asgard played in the comics, don't be surprised if we get to see it again in a movie in the not too distant future. In terms of the build, it's fairly rudimentary. It's based on the same design used by the Lego Harry Potter theme for the Privet Drive sign. A couple of central studded 2x2 plates sitting on a 2x4 plate with a couple of studded grey bars to hold up a stickered 2x3 tile. Simple, yet effective. Moving on to the main build, and th there's only one word, it's exquisite. With barely 250 pieces to play with, the designer has created one of the most beautifully detailed sets in this size I have ever seen. There's so much detail. Thor's Hangout is genuinely a work of art, which not only serves as a great way for young LEGO Marvel fans to recreate one of the funnier moments in Avengers Endgame, but also serves as a stunning display piece. Whilst there is nothing overly challenging about the build, which will likely take the average builder 30 to 60 minutes to complete, some of the build techniques used are quite clever. Take the fan slash air vent to the left of the television, great effect using an inverted 2x2 turntable. The sofa is also a fun build, utilising a similar technique to those found in the Lego Friends, that's the TV show, sets. 
One of the primary ways that this set adds extra detail but also gets around the limited piece number is the use of stickers and while I'm usually the first person to call out stickers as cheapening the look of a Lego set, they work extremely well here. With the exception of the TV, the other stickers are used primarily just to add a bit of additional context to the room you're building. The five years since the blip newspaper, the pizza boxes, and there's a lovely picture of Thor posing with Valkyrie on the wall. They don't overwhelm the Lego on display, but do add aesthetic value to the completed build. The TV sticker even features a picture not too dissimilar from Fortnite, the game that Korg is playing in the movie. The build features so much in terms of useful accessories as well for expanding play, from the gamepad to the pizza slices, and Bro Thor even has Stormbreaker, with a convenient clip on the wall behind the TV, so you've got somewhere to store it. All of this is such a brilliant thing for such a well-priced set. Overall, Bro Thor's new Asgard is an incredible set for its price range and piece number. You get a lot of fantastic design for your money with this one. With just about 250 pieces to play with, the designer of this set should be honoured for the work of art they've created. Seriously, the build here is a genuine work of art in terms of minimal piece design detail. The set is going to be a big draw anyway for any LEGO Marvel fan, especially considering that most of us have been screaming out for this version of Thor since we left the cinema of our first viewing of Avengers Endgame. And despite the fact that the minifigures are fantastic and unique, they're not perfect. The biggest disappointment for me being that Korg would be much better suited as a big fig in line with being a similar size and build to Hulk. That being said, it's a glorious build. It comes with three named characters from the MCU that are completely unique to this set. I highly recommend this set for any Marvel fan. It's that good. Uh, and it's just a fun build. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, please do subscribe if you haven't already. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it. And leave a comment if you're planning on getting the uh getting the set or you've already got it let me know what your thoughts are be interested to know what other fans think of the korg minifigure because like i say that's my biggest disappointment so let me know what you think anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this i'll be back very soon with another video thanks a lot Bye bye